Time for pudding. This week, Sarah Bean is going to try and beat me with her favourite dessert, chocolate brownie. Now, there's 100 recipes of chocolate brownies, and I'm doing something quite sort of uh, unique, some just delicious. We're finishing it this time with some little pecans. But this is not a big tray of chocolate brownie. They're going to be done in little blini pans. We're going to butter them, line them with chocolate, and cook them individually, almost like a little sort of pancake, but pancake chocolate brownie. This is a children's chocolate brownie, because I don't think you should put extra bits in. It should just be pure chocolate brownie. This is really cheap, so you can make it, if you're having masses of people to a party, you can make it for loads of people. We had it at our wedding, actually. <laughs> Not that I'm a cheapskate or anything. So, get your brush and lightly brush the inside of the pan. Now, all it is is a block of chocolate, break it in half and just grate. And just pour the chocolate in there and then roll it round. Right, Sarah, how are we doing? This is cocoa, sugar and flour. Yep. And then this is the eggs and you just pour it in and there. It's and that's it? That's it, yeah. So well, it no, tastes great. I'm sure it does. Now, no chocolate in there? No. Oh, no, it's got, it's got cocoa powder. Just cocoa powder? Yeah, and, oh, and then I have to grease the tin. And that looks like something you've nicked from your granny? Um, yeah, that's yeah. the general And then that goes in there. And how long does that cook for? 25 minutes or maybe a bit more if it doesn't look cooked. Yeah, because it should be nice and crisp on the outside and soft yeah, and gooey in the middle. Yeah, gungy. Gungy. That's the word. <laughs> You're a lady who likes pressure. You've I got do. 37 guests coming round on I... Boxing Day. Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Yes. That's a yeah. big table, that, 37. That, that is a big table. You're cooking yeah. not single-handedly, surely? Well, sort of single-handed. I've got this turkey that's kind of... Huge. Huge. So have you got lots of Christmas? Uh, I think we've got about um, 18 or 20. Hey, that's just as bad. I know. Crazy. So yeah. Do you do lots of entertaining, then? I'm not very good at the dinner party thing, you know that. It's not the kind of thing I, um, I really enjoy doing, to be totally honest. So this is why I couldn't be a cook, because I think this is taking ages and it's really boring. I'm thinking, God, hurry up. How do you know so much about property? I've got a building company. I do a boy's job, you see. You okay. do a girl's job, I do a boy's job. I do a girl's job? Yeah, that's the whole gripe. I wish women would get back in there and do their job. I... You know that. <laughs> the women do make the best chefs, you know that. I know, well, obviously, women do everything best. No, 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 well, not quite everything. Hello. <laughs> not quite everything. You're a bit of a matchmaker, aren't you? I am. It is a bit of an obsession of mine. It always has been, actually, which... Serious. Um, now, do you do that over food? Yeah, no, well, the best place to meet someone is over food and booze, isn't it? Food and booze, yes. Yeah, st stick food and booze uh -huh. and a few Can't... single people together and they're going to get married. And what about someone like our resident food critic? I mean, is there, a, is there a woman out there that's mad enough to sort of date him? But how would you describe him? Moany, whingy, beardy, short ass. I think he definitely gets someone. He definitely gets someone. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping heck. Now, the chocolate and the butter's melted. I've whisked the eggs lightly. I've folded them in. Sarah's is going to be slightly gungy in the centre, she said. <laughs> Sounds very ominous. Um, and mine, of course, is going to be lined with, like, chocolate buttons and these little things, pecans. I have to say, at this stage, without getting too carried away, a damn sight more appetising than Sarah's. <laughs> Mind you, I said that about the trifles last week as well, didn't I? Also, I think that putting nuts in it is a yes. bit like putting leeks in macaroni cheese. Oh, really? So it's just wrong. Like it's put... ruining the purity. I'm now just going to lift that out and put them in to the moulds. And then, hopefully, we'll be ready. So only fill the mould up two-thirds because they're going to rise slightly and then we leave it nice and soft and gooey in the centre. And those chocolate buttons, hopefully, will be intact but slightly runny. I could have refurbished a five-bedroom house in the time it takes to melt some butter. How frustrating. This one's going to eat it and you've just got washing up to do. Whilst you're uh, pregnant, OK, and yeah. obviously my wife's been pregnant three times, I put weight on to make her feel happy. Does it happen oh, the same with your husband? sweetie. Does he put weight on to make um, you feel sort he of is, actually. less fat in bed? <laughs> no, he does still does say, he? good God, you're fat, every time I have no clothes on. Serious. So, which oh, is true, yeah. let's be honest. No, I've got to stay confident now because they're not cooked. Now, let me have a quick look at yours. Okay. Just like the bike sheds. You can look at mine and let me look at yours. <laughs> yeah. Cheeky. Mm, that's nice. Is that... I've got to say, you, yours does look like you cook for a living and mine does look like I don't. And I desperately, desperately, <laughs> desperately need, need to win. win. You okay, need to win. Your... Okay, here we go. It'll taste great, though. I'm actually slightly nervous. Oh, no, is it burnt? Well, no, it's got a nice crack on the top. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, now, how are you going to serve yours? I'm going to serve it in slices like a cake. Yeah, you just want, you know, like send it like that and give them a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The difficulty oh. is you have to make them with all sort of posh stuff in, don't you? Not at all. Oh, yes, Chocolate buttons, do. that's not posh. <laughs> okay, finish mine with a touch of creme fraiche. Oh. This is called a blob. That's called a blob, nice. <laughs> Are you happy with that? Jean-Baptiste, <laughs> um, take Sarah's upstairs first, okay? Yes? Yes. And if they don't like it, 
we can line their lofts with some new cavity wall insulation. <laughs> okay. Up. Yeah, can I just say, it's bloody heavy. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like one of your breeze blocks from one of your buildings. Hello, how are you guys? Hello. Hello. Voici, so Danny, this is number one. I like the texture on the top as well, like mm -hmm. the kind of crunchy, it's kind of nice mm. and gooey in the middle, and it's like nice kind of crunchy mm. outside. Mm. It does, yeah. it kind of, it just That's drapes over your tongue, doesn't it, and the top mm. bit feeling. Might, it might be slightly too gooey, actually, just if I was going to add some constructive criticism to that. Mm, but, no. but I, find it, I quite like that? the gooeyness, just because yeah. it is, makes it quite a contrast from the, mm. the crust. OK, Danny, this is, this is number two. OK, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about this I'm one. I'm not no. sure it's about the cream. Mm. Yeah, it's the cream. It's quite dry, actually, isn't it? It's quite mm. flaky on the top. I shouldn't be overconfident about, you know, the brownies at this stage, but I have to say, I bloody am, you know that. Because if I lose this challenge this week, <laughs> honestly... I was going to say... Oh, if... I will start liking Andrew Roll Thompson. That's how confident <laughs> I am I'm going to win. Yeah, I think I've had enough of that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ali JB. Oh, so this week the winner is? Yes. Well done, Sarah. Oh, get oh, out, will you? <laughs> pissing around. Oh, no! Sarah won. Oh, yes. No. Oh, get Again. out. I'm really sorry. <laughs> The result, you know that. I'm going to go upstairs and see the judges. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you find it funny. Um, just out of interest, I mean, taste that again for me. OK. Yeah, all of you, and then I can start with the lady at the end. Now, tell me what you're tasting. It tastes bitter. Bitter? Yeah, it's got a kind of, like, almost burnt taste to it. Burnt. Yeah, slightly, yeah, slightly slightly burnt. Slightly burnt. Look how, look, look, just look how wet that is in the centre. In the middle, but you've got to get through the dry outside to get to the middle. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I, I, I don't understand it. Just slightly too dry. Yeah. It's liking, sorry. All three of you can <laughs> off out of here now as well. Yes. <laughs> dear, oh dear. <laughs> Useless. I'm not going to serve it. I'm going to serve my chocolate brownie, my restaurant, <laughs> my customers, and, and and my reputation on the line. And that's that. And that's it. Do that you mind? is fair enough. I'm really sorry, but... No, it is OK, cos you do think this is poo, don't you? Uh, no, it's just... It, it, you know, it's... Not nice. It's not bad, but it's not good. Come here. That's Let me it. get round that bump. <laughs> oh, send it out here like this. Well done, well done. <laughs>